Hi everyone, it's me Anna. I'm here again. Um, this is actually a haul that I'm doing. First, I want to um, give a shout out to Amy R. And her YouTube channel is Prairie Paper Ink. And she did a video on how to make your own stamp cleaner. And I just want to say that was totally awesome of her to share with us. So I want to pay it forward and give um, what she gave out. And if any of my subscribers don't know who she is, that way I can pay it forward and um, give you this great tip. So, ugh. never mind the name. Um, this is distilled water okay you have to have distilled water that's one then you're going to buy a small bottle of baby um, Johnson's baby shampoo I put my name on it for a reason don't ask um, but just um, baby shampoo it has to be Johnson & Johnson and then you want to get glycerin now, what you're going to do is, you're going to take an 8 ounce bottle, like this, you're going to put 2 tablespoons of glycerin, and I got this at CVS, and it, don't go to where the, they have like the laxatives and stuff like that, because you're not going to find this. This is in their beauty section. So that's where you will find it in their beauty section. Because I was going crazy looking for it. I couldn't find it anywhere until I said, you know what? Let me go online and figure out where the hell they have this at. And I found it in the beauty section. And that's where I was able to go to my CVS and purchase it. So um, that's where I got my glycerin at. So you will add two tablespoons of this. And then a couple of drops, two to three drops of your baby shampoo. You're going to give it a shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, and there you go. You're going to have your instant stamp cleaner. Awesome. I just want to say thank you again to Amy R. Her name on YouTube is Prairie Paper Ink. She's absolutely phenomenal with her Copic coloring. I strive to be like her as far as um, her Copic techniques because she's awesome. Um, so if you don't know, please check her out. I will have her link down below. I will put her username down here below. Okay, so that was one quick tip that I got. Then um, I purchased a couple of stamps um, at actually this place called um, National Liquidators. And if you can believe it, I got these stamps for $1.99. And these are called... Uh, let me see if they have a name. They're by Inka Dinka Do, all about borders. And I just love it because you can actually use one, right? And then get a ruler and draw your own lines and personalize and have your own personal journaling, spot, journaling spots, which I like because I can't find a big enough journaling um, stamp. And the one that I did find, which is a cover to cover, um, cover your card by a Impression Obsessions, but it's a little expensive and, you know, I don't want to spend that much on a stamp that I don't know if I'm going to use all the time. I also got this one at the um, National Liquidators for $1.99. And this is by Craft Affair by Hampton Art. And this one is called... Uh... It doesn't actually have a name, so, but it just has some sentiments. It says, just because, love ya, a little something special, you're the best, a true friend remembers your birthday, but not your age, which I thought was really cute. Um, and then one that says, life is good. And then it has a flower, and it looks like a little button, which I want to show you in the center, which is totally adorable. So I really like that one. So I got that there at National Liquidators. I don't know if you guys carry them, but I do. Um, I got this on eBay, some seam binding. And this is 100 yards. I got it in white only. And the reason why I only got it in white is because I have a whole mess of colors 
of Glimmer Mist. And I got this idea by another YouTuber that said she uses white and then she just Glimmer Mists it to whatever color she prefers. Which I thought was totally awesome because then you don't have to buy every single color in seam binding. And you could get the exact color that you want when you're using a project. If you have it in the Glimmer Mist. If not, then I, I don't know what to tell you. But that's why I got it in white and I thought that was genius. Um, I also got some, let me see, I also picked up some Spellbinders, and this is Spellbinders, Nestabilities, uh, these are, this is label 5, and I got these on Amazon.com, and I paid, um, half the price. Um, I'm not really sure exactly how much it was, but I know it was half the off the original price. They were having a great sale on the spell binders. I don't know, um, maybe you sh was it? No, I'm sorry, it was overstock.com. So if you want to check out overstock.com, give it a try. So I got um, labels five. I got um, the big scalloped oval, and I love this one. This one is called Blossom Four which is my favorite where are you which is my favorite so I picked that one up again these were at overstock overstock.com so you could pick that up there also I bought some I don't know if you guys are familiar with um the gorgeous stamps um, I purchased purchased these overseas I'm still waiting on a pack that I have not received yet and it's been already a month so um, I have to email the seller and let her know that I have not received my package um, so she could resend it or refund me my money. But anyway, this one is called Bluebird's Proposal and this is what she looks like and she is really gorgeous. And these are Simply Gorgeous rubber stamps. Okay, and these are their size. This one is called uh, Forget Me Not. She's really pretty. So I got that from an eBay seller. And then I picked up, what is this? Oh, I got some memory box dies. Um, this one is called the Sophia Heart. And that's what that looks like. I even forgot I got these. Um, the Vivian Butterfly. Ooh, where are you and that's what that looks like I love that one and this labels which I might sell because I'm not really feeling it too much um I love this one this is the scalloped posy love it haven't tried it yet I even forgot I had it uh the um I don't know how do you, you pronounce that seraphine oh the seraphina heart I don't know if that's an L. Sometimes it looks like an L or an S. I don't know. I love this one. Then I got the um, Woodland Branch. And the LaRue Heart. And I like this one because it's actually a really, really nice size. Let me just show you real quick. It's really big. Just to give you a, sh um, a close up. It's bigger than the palm of my hand so it's a really nice size so I got that and I got this from an eBay seller sorry I don't have the information but I got that from an eBay seller then I got another um just gorgeous stamp and um yeah she came from the United Kingdom and this one is called Toadstools and I just think she's so cute and look at the mushrooms how freaking cute are they sorry for the glare hold on there we go and she's a really nice size so I got her and I got these all came from overseas I mean from yeah from overseas um, I got Rose which she is simply gorgeous she is so cute 
So I picked up rose because I want to start getting back into um, my card making. Um, I, I let that go. I haven't done any cards really. And I want to start doing cards again. So she's a really pretty nice size. So let me just show you. See, she's really a big girl. So that is Rose. And she's simply gorgeous. So that's Rose. I got um, some more. These came all from the United Kingdom. And these are their clear stamps because now they have the new little, um, the gorgeous clear stamps. And this one is little gorgeous and her name is uh sitting pretty if i'm not mistaken no hang me up to dry <gasps> tell me she's not cute oh my god how cute is she and i love it because it's a clear stamp so i can see what i'm doing and then i got the simply gorgeous uh ruby and i love her swinging on her little swing so that's that and I have to get rid of all of that because I'm going to be throwing all that chunk away. And what I got in here. Some more gorgeous stamps. And this one is called uh, Little Heart. And these are um, the, um, the Little Gorgeous. So these are the clear stamps. And this one again is called Little Heart. And I got all of these on eBay. And this one is called Sitting Pretty. Look how cute she is. She really is sitting pretty. And look at the freaking cupcake, how cute that is. And it even has a little um, label that says Sitting Pretty, which I thought is cute. So I got that. And I got another pack. And I got this through, um, it says Crafty Queen 2010. And this is the information. So I'm going to hold it up for a minute so you can get it. Pause it so you can write it down. That's the eBay seller so if you want to get it but remember this comes through the United Kingdom so it'll take a minute actually these came pretty fast I'm still waiting on the one that I got a month ago um this one is called on top of the world and she has the little birds she's so cute and she's like sitting on a little vine or a little um a little I don't know a wall you can make it a wall so and I just love that it has these little hearts that to say the the gorgeous stamps so I got her and I got the collector and she's really adorable and that's what she looks like and she has hearts and bowls and she also has the little label that says the collector and then I got a simple, simply gorgeous, uh, what's her name? Puddles of Love. I love this one. This one is going to be so much fun to color. And again, these are a nice size stamp. As you see, it's bigger than the palm of my hand. So that's it for my stamps. I'm going to save this because I could use this in a, in a card or something. So I will save that. But the rest could go to the garbage. Then I bought these Rocker Blocks um, Crafters by Crafters Companion. And they're for clear stamps. So I'm going to give these a try. Um, I'm not sure if um, I'm sold yet. But I'm going to try them out on my clear stamps. And I will let you guys know how I feel about them. Um, if you guys have them, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think about them. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Um, I got some new Copics.
I got the um, floral favorites. I got the skin tones, which I already have, but you can never, you know, have enough. I got the um, pale pastels. I got the sketching grays. And I got the secondary tones. Now, I'm going to tell you, I got this. I got, oh, I'm sorry. And I got the perfect, the perfect primaries. So I got six packages of six. Plus, I got 30 other Copic, Copic markers that were separate, that were written in packages. Um, and I got them only for 160 bucks. And of course I had to bid on them but I won them for 160 bucks and what I did was that um, out of the 30 that were um, that were separate and from these um, I already had a lot of the colors so what I did was I took um, I took what I had and I resold them and I was able to get all of these six packs plus um a few of the markers because i think i sold about like 20 something so a few of the markers and i only sp paid 60 dollars because the 20 something markers that i sold they went for over 100 bucks so i was really lucky so i got that and i got my color chart so, if anybody wants a color chart, all you got to do is Google it and you can get one. So, I got that. Again, I'll do a review on this. I'm not too sure about this if I'm going to like this or not. Um, so, I've been eyeing this. Oh, I ordered from, uh, what's her name? Carla001, um, her Etsy store. And I'm going to say that I'm, I'm, it's my first time and I was... I see all you girls order from her um i was a little skeptical um i wasn't really sure um if i wanted to but i'm so happy that i did because these porcelain roses are absolutely gorgeous and they are to die for so i will be ordering more of these so i got it in the purple because as you all know purple is my favorite color and I got them in just plain white. I'm sorry for the glare. And then I got these um, paper ones. So I got that um, as far as flowers. Because I have a ton of flowers that I really, really, really need to use up. So I didn't spend a lot of money on flowers. Um, she sent this to me as a gift. Which is her, um, her rhinestone mesh. Which I think is really cute. Um... I might buy some. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll see what I could do with this. I know I could cut it up and stuff, but um, maybe if it was a different color. So I got that. Um, I got some of her shabby chic trim of the rosettes. Um, I know you all know what this looks like. So I got um, how many yards of this did I get? I know I got. I think it was two yards. I got two yards of that, so I'm not going to show you the other pack. I got three yards of this cream trim, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I got three yards of that. And I got ten yards of her four, I think it's four millimeters. Yeah, it looks like four millimeters. Her flat back pearls. absolutely love this stuff so I got uh, 10 yards of that uh, what else did I get that was from uh, Carla Carla 001 her Etsy store um, what else did I get I got a few more things um, this is gonna be a long video likes to watch me <laughs> I got my husband in the back teasing me so excuse me um is this yeah um Carla 001 uh her Etsy shop is 
etsy.com slash shop slash caller callers zero zero one and I will just show you that in case I'm sure you ladies all know who she is thank you Carla for the beautiful trim it's absolutely gorgeous so I bought this on bargain what, bargain pack I'm not I don't remember um where's the damn tag um I think it was bargainpack.com I got this stuff No, I'm lying. This was at a this was an eBay seller. My bad. Yeah, this was an eBay seller. I got the um and it's uh your scrapbook supplies.com. That's the eBay user. Um so, oh my god, this paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's the Graphic 45, Little Darling. And it's simply, simply gorgeous, this Little Darling's collection. And, I mean, you've all seen this paper. I know you've all seen this paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I did was, like, normally with Graphic 45, I buy the 12 by 12 and I buy the 8 by 8 I always always do with graphic 45 I also got the sticker sheet um, their alphabet and their um, stickers and I also got their tags their labels one tag and two tags so that was from your scrapbook supplies.com on eBay. So if you guys are interested, and I got a really, really good price on these. I'll tell you right now what I spent. Um, the 12 by 12, I'm sorry. The 12 by 12 was $17.99. The 8 by 8 was $9.89. The alpha stickers were three fifty nine. The other stickers were three fifty nine. The die cuts, um, two were. This was a little expensive, I must say, five thirty nine. And the other um tags, one was five thirty nine. But there was free shipping, so I didn't mind. So that was a good deal. Um. That's garbage. I got, oh, I just want to say, hi, Bona. Thank you so much. Bona sent me this beautiful treat, which I just want to say thank you so, so much. Um, and she sent me this beautiful tag. Thank you so much, Bona. And her YouTube channel is Live Love Scrap. Um, she sent me the die cut and it's a bib and I'm going to make a little mini album for my niece she's having a baby and I'm going to make a mini album out of this and what I thought was so adorable was the negative of the bib okay you see the negative it looks like an Easter egg so I am going to make a little mini out of this a little Easter Easter um yeah Easter egg, not an Easter egg mini. Yeah, an Easter egg mini. So that's what I'm gonna do with the negatives. So it's there's three of them, um, six of them. So I thought this was really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one and one of these, and I could always use it as a template, or I will scan it, um, copy it, and um, cut it out of thin chip weight chipboard, and um, thin chip. What you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and that way I could always have that bib die cut, which I thought is awesome. So again, I want to say thank you so much, Bona. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you hear talking in the back, I'm really sorry. Um, so I got that from Bona. Again, I want to say thank you so much, Bona. You didn't have to do that, and I so greatly appreciate it. So this was from the um, the bargain pack, bargainpack.com. 
And when I tell you, when they say bargain, they really, really mean it. It was an awesome deal. Um, so what I did was I got the Serenity Collection by Bow Bunny. I love it. I seen it. Um, Catherine on the Scrap Beach. She was doing something, a project on her Ustream channel with this uh, paper collection. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm not really into the Oriental, um, you know, the Asian. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say Oriental. The Asian look um, or Asian style. But the paper itself is actually really, really pretty. So I'm really happy that I got this. So I got this at bargainpack.com. I also got the Bow Bunny Co uh, Aurora collection. And you all know what this looks like. And I bought them the 6x6 because I plan to use these for card making. So that's why I got the 6x6. And I got the um, Echo Park Victorian Garden, which is absolutely beautiful. And I love that it is double-sided. So it's 24 sheets. And I think it's three per design. It's really, 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 really pretty. So I love that. So I also got some of the embellishments. Um, it's funny because my family is totally shushing everybody, but they don't really have to be quiet. It's okay. Um, so what I did was I got um, the Aurora, the, um, I'm sorry, not the Aurora, the Victorian Garden stickers because I really like the stickers. And the Victorian Garden, um, which paper is this? This is the journaling cards, and that's why I got this sheet. So I can use the journaling cards. So I got that. And I got... Who's making that? That's Nicholas. Nicholas, stop. You heard me. With I got also with the um, Aurora collection, I got the gems, I got the clear stamps, and I got the noteworthy their card their um their cardstock, their die cut journaling pack on um, pages. So I thought that was cool, and they were really inexpensive. And I also got the gems for the Serenity collection. And the trinkets, the trinkets are really, really pretty. And the um, journaling pages for that. What else did I get? Um, I think that's about it. So that's my haul. I know this was, is a pretty long video. Um, again, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. And I hope that you made left a comment on my previous video for my giveaway and if you haven't please go check out that video leave a comment and that automatically enters you into the giveaway and again I want to say thank you to Prairie Paper Inc for giving us this great cool idea about making your own stamp cleaner with the glycerin the distilled water and the uh, baby um, shampoo Johnson & Johnson um, if you haven't if you don't know what I'm talking about Go back to the beginning of this video and you'll um, I explain it all in the beginning of the beginning of this video. So again, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure like always. And I can't wait to show you my next mini. So have a good night and be blessed. Bye.